We are live. Whoa, we are live. We are live. We are live indeed, people. And I'm checking through my massive initiative list, and I see one thing. And that is, I forgot to roll for Sir Scat. Of course. <laughs> you always forget him. <laughs> that is so um racist of you. Yeah, I know. How many of them rolled crits? <laughs> Zero. Really? Yeah. So before we start with this massive initiative list, we have a surprise round that only has one initiative. <laughs> Take it away, Roy. Um, we have sorry, one free action. One second. Just a uh, oh. single free action is what the surprise round is. Yeah. Raise your fist in anger. <laughs> Flip him off. So it's no, it's no free move. It's it's simply a free action. You can use the action to move. Yes. It's either a standard minor or a move action. Okay. I got you. Will you charge in? <laughs> <laughs> um. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> There's not a whole lot for me to do in this situation. I've misplaced the glasses. Uh, I'll let my free action slide. Right. Good to pan action. And we start with the normal initiative round. And the red wolf is first. Document because it's closed for some reason. It's actually a grey wolf, but <laughs> um, oh right, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, you can, uh, so I should ask. In the turn of a NPC that's on your side, you could give it, uh, if you wanted to, uh, a general order in the sense of attack that one or move over there, if you wanted. Do, do, uh, do, do we all get that option or is it yes. like the leader of our group? Yeah. You, you can all do that option, but it only takes on the first command it gets. Okay. So I'm just gonna slowly work through the... Um, initiative order. If you have um, any commands, uh, you could also do it during the turn. Then I just cancel what it did. But if you have any commands, just uh, you know, let me know. Um, wolf hand. Hmm. So it's so this would be half a movement, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It moves forward. Ooh. Roy, your turn. You could also right. take this uh, this order thing as a free action in your turn. If you say like Red Wolf, do this, or if you want. Just right. uh, yeah. The epic battle begins. Yes, it is Red your normal turn now. Red Wolf's turn. It moves <laughs> forward. Choice. <laughs> free <Fatality. laughs> What? I think I missed a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm you... just uh, getting the um, movement in place as far as distances and such. Commands all enemies to give up. Yeah, they're not listening to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, 
I would like to um, cast. Uh, how do I? Oh, it's shaped consciousness on uh, to be going to this this square right here. Let me ping it for you. What square? What's your ping? Ping. 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 Cool, it's all crazy and see through. It's. It's, yeah. Your shape consists. Um, <laughs> Can I get control? It should have now. Cool. I'm not sure. Yeah. I was already working on it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just have to see which one I want to do first. All right. Um, get to both pages of this real quick. Thankfully, I've at least remembered what page of the, the book all my stuff is in. <laughs> that might come in handy, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll d20 after I start my move. Um, Appearance to only the enemies in range of a first one here, which is all four of these guys. Um, a centaur glowing white with large wings, white hair and purple eyes appears above them. And a shower of spears flies towards them. Excellent. Um... I guess I'll roll for that. I don't even know what that thing is. It's the one in the, the blue thing to the northeast of where Kazrak is. Is it the pink skin blue or the gray blue? The gray, the gray blue. Okay, so that's uh, him. So that is that page. Yeah, you can roll. I just, I'll just open up the page. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it targets, but... <laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> is that... Definitely a hit, I would assume. This is intelligence versus fortitude. That's a hit. That's a Next hit. is the other blue. Um, yep, that's also a hit. Alright, going for green. Green is this one. Oh, they're all on the same page. Nice. Um, yeah, that's also a hit. Last is Kazrak. Yeah. That's so I'm putting him up. Yep, that's a hit. Excellent. So the spears strike into their bodies. However, only they can see this happen. And as it pierces their fleshy mounds of body, the the spears simply fade away. Damage time. This is my favorite part, guys. <laughs> this is my favorite part. 
you can say who you're gonna damage first because I need to find them in this entire list of initiatives. Alright, uh, doing the same damage order. Uh, so the blue gray guy. Here. The gray guy. 13 damage on the blue gray guy. Okay, blue gray guy done. Uh, which is this one on? The, uh, the other blue. The pink blue guy. Pink blue. Uh, where is he? Uh, there he is. And... Yep, damage calculated. Uh, next is green. Yeah, you can roll the other one as well, because there's only one left. Nice. Is this a daily or something? Holy shit, there's damage. On yes, that. yes it is. For a psionic. <laughs> um, that's Kazrak, right? Yeah. Right. It is someone else. Uh, no. Oh, no. Nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, my uh, action point. Okay. To kill them all <laughs> and do some more damage sure. to them all. Um, after being pierced. With the spears, they uh, all of a sudden a disheartening feeling burns into their heads, and uh, I'm gonna hit the same same four people. They uh, this is versus Will. Okay. First. Second. Ouch. It's a fumble. Cool. So only I assume the same order, so only Kazarek and the priest are a hit, and you have to roll a D eight on the fumble charge. Blinded until the end of the next turn. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, you get a minus ten on all attack rolls. Oh man. It's okay. I think after that attack. <laughs> um, the worm priest first. The worm priest. Okay. The worm oh. priest. Yeah, there's a co it's a cobalt priest, and they're called worm priests in the book, apparently. Okay, yeah, but for the things oh, sorry, you need a, to do, color is. Five on that. What? The color is blue, and it's a gray, gray armor dude. No, but uh, color, mark color, and uh, race is how uh, they'll be named in uh, combat mode. So cobalt, you said. Blue cobalt, yeah. So fifteen for the first damage. Yep. And Kazrak. Uh, 14 for Kazrak. Both of them take a, take a penalty to uh, attack rolls equal to three, I guess. Charisma modifier would be three and not, they don't get the bonus from half a level, right? 
Nope. Okay, so they they take a three point attack penalty until the end of my next turn. Again, I don't know why they have half a level on the character sheet because it just doesn't have. All right. Holy shit! That was some attack, sir. And um, I can still move. I'm going to move him up and attempt to sneak as a minor action on my uh, um, my shaped consciousness. Wait, your shaped consciousness is going to try and sneak? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> why are you going? That... Where are you going to sneak to? Uh, behind this rock thing. Oh, you're Just going to move... hide. Move to one space behind this rock. Oh, okay. Roll a stealth check. Most perceptive of them all. Oh, they see you. <laughs> you crouched behind the rock. Yeah. You still have cover, right? Yes, we do have cover. That is true. Alright, that's it. I end my turn. This was turn one. <laughs> um. Um, he moves forward. I do not mind. He looks at the guy crouching behind the rock and he charges the guy right, crouching behind the rock. It was just on my head, it dissipates, right? Uh, yes, if he takes damage. Let's see if he takes damage. He gets a flail to the head. That's what he tries to do. It would be so funny if the, if the guy fumbles. Yeah. Maybe falls through the shape. Oh, no fumble. 22 to AC. Oh, yeah, it's, that's that's a hit. <laughs> belly, belly. I'll, I'll you just... have to roll damage. He's just gone. Yeah, I'll just uh, mark it because you want to probably resummon it. So I'll just mark it that it's gone. And then uh, if you resummon it, you can remove the mark and use it again. Uh, I don't think I can resummon it. <laughs> Check. Gone? Encounter for? I think you can. Shape consciousness is an encounter. That's that's a shame. Yeah, that sucks. It's an amazing range uh, range extension you have there. Then it's gone. And this guy. Standard action to move as well, so he can join up with his mate. Melga, it's your turn. Um, Vault Melgar, of the uh, oh, the Vault of the Bridge. That takes an acrobatic check. No, Melga moves over here. And then, um, you do know that the uh, blockage is difficult terrain, right? Yeah. I took that into account. Excellent. And then throws the axe. 
<laughs> like he shit did last time? No! <laughs> Wrong thing. Sorry. And then just... Charges over there. Right, that we grab To attack this dude. This human, yes. Grab it. Grab it. Say it. The dude I'm sure looks extremely scared with a giant running at him. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I'm probably extremely dead afterwards. <laughs> Elgar should get lightning damage on her axe, or his axe. That way he can react with the urine flowing <laughs> down their pants and do extra damage. <laughs> Versus AC. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Do I do this correctly? Here come the D6s. Take one, take two. Oh? No. no. 14 damage. No, no. that was just running straight into the battle way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the Malgar, Malgar way. That's Malgar for you. Oh, Malgar. And that was my turn. Oh, Malgar takes a defensive stance, by the way. <gasps> really? To be fair, Hakon, nobody said which line to hold. <laughs> also, I don't even think I don't think Melgar has actually been hit by an attack no, yet. Nope. So I'm like feeling pretty good right now. I don't think Melgar's ever been hit by an attack. Mm. Maybe once, but several. Nah. We ignore that. <laughs> the legend remains. <laughs> the legend, yeah. It's that cannot be hit. Insubstantial giant. <laughs> I think it's all the flying pieces of cloth that just confuses people and they just hit it like they want to attack the tentacles <laughs> for monster. But that is sad. blue. Yep, blue uh, cobalt. Another blue cobalt. It's moving up. Where did he come from? What, well, blue too? Out. Yeah. Blue cobalt too. Okay. There are multiple blue cobalts on this field. Aren't cobalt small creatures? Uh, I believe so, yes. Step on them, Melga, step on them. <laughs> <laughs> Melga just, is just medium, you know that, right? Doesn't matter. Announce turns. Oh, green human. Uh, goes to the rock. Lands himself behind rock. Lands himself behind rock. Um, orange cobalt. Orange cobalt. Four stands here and charges Melgar. Oh my gosh, they're here! Bloody hell! <laughs> right on my neck. I was, I was looking at the camera, going, "Do I have like my glasses? Oh, they are my glasses." Here and charges Melgar. Have fun. He's he's flanking you. He's got a plus two. Have fun. He's in the wrong square. <laughs> or are we doing half squares? We are doing half squares, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And half yeah. movements. 
was why the heck not? It's all very confusing. Yeah, <laughs> that it is. But they've got a shitload of keys, so. You get anything else? Oh my god, he gets even more. Whoa. Oh shit, he's got a plus three to hit. Yeah. Hey, Sky and Strahl. Both of you <laughs> haven't hey, beaten you yet. Sky and Strahl, what up? Yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. <laughs> e twenty to nothing. And twenty eight versus AC. Yeah, that's it. That's eight damage. Oh, that's so painful. And you are marked. <laughs> You know what's pretty good though? We've got two um, two enemies already blooded. Yeah, yeah. But that's because of the uh, daily and then the at will. And the powerpoints. And the powerpoints. Like, like Kyle threw basically everything in that attack, basically. Including his eyesight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Strel, you've... No one's got iced yet. Anna! Uh, oh, oh, no, Let's announce my own turn and then get off. <laughs> um, okay, I know every effort that I'm gonna make it over that super thing there. <laughs> Full plate, difficult terrain. That's gonna Four, take. Five. I can go stand on it. That's for now, stay next to it. <laughs> and um, check out the range on this. That song doesn't exist. <laughs> Pressure is the only song that exists. It has that beat. <laughs> <laughs> Alas. Not even if I climb it. And the other one. I was just double checking the info that I don't cheat. In fact, cool. Um. Let me see. And now. Uh, Where's that measure thing though? Uh, I can't read it, it I can't zoom in. <laughs> Seven, se 70 feet. And the red one? Five feet. Okay. 70 and this one? 40. 40. Okay. Uh, so she, uh, her eye, the veins at her eyes, next to her eyes start glowing white again. And her eyes glow brighter and she kind of points at Green cobalt over there, and he gets cursed. Green cobalt? Yeah, or isn't this the cobalt then? The grey guys are the uh, hobgoblins. Oh damn, I got that wrong in the combat log. Okay. Um, so, okay, green cobalt. Cobalts are colorful. Hobgoblins are grey. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll get that get right, right in future. Um, yeah, he's cursed, and that's pretty much... Uh, she brandishes her weapons. <laughs> okay. Let's end up with her. Lucy. <laughs> Don't hide. Thank you. Ooh. It is the one. The only. Kazurak. Kazurak. He runs away. <laughs> he bravely runs away. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not really, no. How did I spell his name again? Ka. Snurak. Just are you here? Is there an H in somewhere? I'll put a headset for you. Ah, thanks. Oh, yeah. Kazrak takes.